It's in there against Carolina and now walks into this scene. Very different from Akersher. Hammond again, and he is dragged down by Kelly Lawson, the leading tackler for Virginia Tech. Last week against Marshall, had a dozen plus a peck, and it brings up third down. It's been 22 carries and 15 carries in his first couple of starts, and he pitches this one to Bayshell Toon, who gets rocked by Marquez Williams, flipped over for a loss of three. You just look at last week, only nine carries. They want to do better than that. Flip it again to Tootin, and the transfer lowers the shoulder and breaks the tackle of Donovan McMillan and goes out of bounds to bring up third down and short. His third career start, the redshirt sophomore transfer from Baylor. Kept it, flipped it under pressure from Dayon Hayes, and Jalen Lane cannot get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of two. A pit defense, 12th in the country in total defense. Fewer than 300 yards allowed per game. Drones takes a deep shot. Looking for Daquan Felton for a touchdown. Fifty-four yards. This one's not contested because he just uses his speed, just runs a straight go route, and then it is a beautiful ball by Kyron Drones. Couldn't hand it to him any better, and Virginia Tech is off to a good start. Plays so much man like we've known through the years. Play action, and Phil Jakovic's first throw is a shot downfield for Bob Mees. Breaks away for a touchdown. How's that for a response? Like we said at the top, Mike, high-flying offenses <laughs> exploding play after play for scores. And it's perfect. Off of the play action, they're just running a post from Jakovic's left. Off of the play action, you get a low safety who gets held by Kenny Johnson in the middle of the field. And then it's Bub Means who they've been trying to get going. Quarterback, no, you're doing it. And I think as a play caller, it's just something to keep in mind. Tootin is slammed in the backfield by DeAndre Jules, making his presence felt. The fifth-year senior has been a backup in his career. A second consecutive start, just like Ryan Bear at right tackle. It's a rollout and a completion to the tight end, Gavin Bartholomew, who tries to go hurtling like he did last year against Tennessee. He's got to be involved. Hokies get excellent field position, starting out at their 45. Bayshell Tootin. Slips the tackle, gets to the second level, and plows ahead inside the 30. Trying to run over Donovan McMillan. There's the 234-pound quarterback that works. And, and I like the call. I mean, it basically... Coming up on 30 seconds to go in this first quarter. Tootin. Trying to slip free and Braylon Lovelace, the sure-handed tackle. We told you the rookie, an early enrollee, getting more snaps the last few weeks. They want Lofton in motion. Drones keeps. Drones fakes and scores. Touchdown, Tech. A great call by Tyler Bone, offensive coordinator for him with the tight end sneaking into the flat. That pulls a defender, and it's a walk in score. A couple of big plays through the air in this one. We are early second quarter. Hokies back with it, and Kyron Drones escapes Dayon Hayes, and he's got a first down before he's tackled by Donovan McMillan. Second down at four, and Jerkovic keeps it. Shook free and got to the edge, totally deking Cole Nelson to pick up a first down and get out to midfield. The Hokies are trying to add on before halftime. Four and a half to go in the second quarter. Malachi Thomas with nowhere to go. Nate Temple, fifth-year senior defensive end, the first one to him for a loss of one. Second down and 11. Drones fakes out Lovelace, but not Bam Brema. He's got him for a sack. And now a late flag flies. Intercepted. Yeah, that was close with O'Brien bearing down. On second and 20, there's running room for Drones, and he gets back nearly all of it. Run out by Javon McIntyre. 
Last time it was fourth down and Virginia Tech went for it, it was Drones with a three-yard rush. This time he spins, rolls out, throws toward the sideline, complete to Steven Gosnell. Takes it to the 12. Pokies went for it and converted. Now on second down, they set up a screen. Tilton jukes and is in for a touchdown. Out in space. You see them get to the perimeter. It's Bob Schiff who does a good job. And then Tilton. With good fancy footwork on the sideline. And... But has been in there here tonight. So he's throwing on second down, and he finds Kanate Mumfield in the plus territory. Couple of timeouts for the Panthers with seven seconds to go. You know, just three completions in the first half. It's hard to win football games that way. Tootin is blasted by Solomon DeShields, redshirt junior, first year in a starting job, in on the tackle. I, I did, but I didn't think Fratt was going to trust me to clear it fast <laughs> enough. Here's director Bob Frattaroli. Alex Martino, Juan Martino steering the ship. Devonshire off the carom. Gets run down right near the 20. Five rushes for Pitt of one yard or less. On second down, a sack. Mario Kendricks gets to Jerkovic. Ball might have popped out at the end. Averaging better than four a pop. This time it's Malachi Thomas. Drones keeps and drops. Nick Lappy, former walk-on who earned a scholarship in August. Pat Narduzzi called it an easy decision. Empty set in the gun for Drones. Quarterback draw and Drones spinning to the goal line for a touchdown. He would not go down. You know, Hayes tries to retrace his steps, gets a handful of jersey, but that's not enough for the 234-pound cop. Pressure off the edge, and they set up a screen to Sebo Flemister with blockers out in front and a burst for Flemister. Inside the 20, and Flemister all the way for a touchdown. 61 yards. It's exactly what you're looking for. You're going to see the pressure come off the left side. They throw the screen right into it. You just need to get a couple blocks, and obviously you have a missed tackle. And then Flemister with a good dead leg. Look, the last score obviously was because of the turnover. Simon pressures and drones. Lost the football. Lovelace picks it up, and it's a touchdown. Whoa. Well, that's worse than a lull, Mike. I mean, that is two plays in a row, and this thing has flipped, and you're going to start to see the resolve and maturity of how the Virginia Tech team responds to that and just kind of slips out of Drones' hand. But they pick it up for the scoop and score, and now we got a ball game. From the 39, they fake the toss, and DeAndre Jules gets home to blow up Kyron Drones and bring up fourth down. Well, now with a tackle for loss, it's... Winding down, they get it off. Third down and seven. Jerkovic drops inside the five. You gonna be all right as a <laughs> Notre Dame alum, Mike? <laughs> I'll survive. ACC guy now. Tootin loses a couple. A.J. Woods matched up against him. Corner blitz and Drones got it free to Jalen Lane with running room. Taken off for the end zone and a score. 53 yards. This is what I'm talking about. The corner is going to blitz from the top, which is going to send the safety over top of this receiver, and then you're going to end up having Lane coming inside, and there's no one left in the middle of the field. He's just going to work inside. They've got second down and 18 from midfield at their own 48. 
Jones gets hit hard by Solomon DeShield. Keep everything in front of you, you have a chance to get the football back. 71st offensive snap for Virginia Tech and Drones wide open. Daquan Wright rumbles toward the 20. Donovan McMillan to stop on a big game to convert. Peter Moore is the holder. And from 33, John Love is good. Three score game. The Hokies have the lead with six to go in the fourth in Blacksburg. There was opportunities kind of quickly underneath to play like this, but <laughs> Tech rally into the football. Great pursuit from Monsoor Delane. And now we've got flags after the play as well. Clock rolls to four minutes. First down from the plus 48. Jakovic steps up, but right into a swarm of Chicago Maroon, including Feldarius Payne. <laughs> On second down, they bring five. And Jakovic again dropped by Payne. Same story. You know, Jakovic has a pocket and also told his team, like, hey guys. Uh, do you see the improvement? I see the improvement. I feel like we're close. And he said, you just never know when you're actually going to kind of turn that corner. And it certainly felt like they turned the corner tonight. It's a win for the Hokies in their ACC opener. 38-21 over Penn.